our friends of the Sussex backpacker Amelia Bambridge, who tragically drowned in Cambodia last week, have spoken of their shock at discovering that images of her dead body have been so have been circulating on social media. Well, they say the platforms were too slow to take the images down. And one of Amelia's best friends, Hannah Clark, has told us that she spent the last few days searching for um, images of Amelia's body online so that she can get them reported and taken down. Here's Leanne Lawless. Hannah Clark was 17 years old when she first met Amelia Bambridge. They worked together, party together, and even traveled together. But last week, Hannah had to find out through strangers on social media that her best friend had drowned because they'd posted pictures of her body online. I was just so angry when I first saw it because I was like, I've just found out one of the most important people to me is gone. And I had to spend hours scrolling through these social media sites, making sure the photos were gone. It's not something anyone should have to see, but especially her family and friends. And that's the thing, I still don't feel like I've had time to actually accept what's happened because I'm waking up and checking these haven't been shared anymore. On Thursday, police in Cambodia found Amelia's body 30 miles off the island of Koh Rong. A post-mortem confirmed she died from accidental drowning. But pictures of her body were shared, liked and circulated on Facebook and Instagram before her family had chance to identify her. When there's something extreme like this, there needs to be a quicker response because as it's we've seen, it's been shared. And actually, as of today, I looked and even after reporting it, the images are still there, some of them. Social media plat platforms should have more filtering um, and they should have more processes in place to make sure they're picking up this type of graphic content before people see it. Facebook, which owns Instagram, told us Amelia's death is heartbreaking and our thoughts go out to her family and friends. We have clear rules against posting graphic content and when we are made aware of it, we remove it. But tonight, Amelia's friends say it shouldn't be up to them to report such horrendous content. They say social media sites should be proactively taking it down. Leanne Lawless, BBC Southeast Today. Two men have been jailed.